Hello everybody. Welcome to the prayer time of e comfort zone. Thank you for joining me. The book of Psalm chapter 69 and verse 13 says, But I pray to you, Lord, in the time of your faith. In your great love, O oh God, answer me with your sure salvation. Yes, our Lord listens to our prayers and answers our prayers. Friends, it is always a privilege to thank the Lord because of his mercy, his protection, and his providence. It's a privilege to thank him for his grace that has flown in our lives. We are excited to know that the Lord is answering our prayers. I want to assure all of you that you are in our prayers. And we trust that the Lord, according to his immeasurable wisdom, will answer our prayers in his time. But let us continue to bring our requests before his throne of grace. Please join me in this brief prayer session. Let us pray. Our most gracious Father in heaven, our God, our Lord, our Master, it's a privilege for us to come before your throne of grace, behold your glory, praise you, worship you, and at the same time submit our supplications to you. Father Almighty, we come before you acknowledging your greatness in our life. We acknowledge that all glory, all honor, and all praises belong to you because you are the God who alone is worthy of all this. We praise you for your wonderful character of love. We praise you for you are the just God. And yet, we as sinners, you have given us the privilege to come before your throne of praise. We thank you for this wonderful privilege. We thank you for our Lord Jesus Christ who has taken up all, all the burden of our sins on the cross of Calvary. We want to thank you for the wonderful salvation that you have offered us through Lord Jesus Christ. We want to thank you for every blessing that we receive. Many a times we take many of these things, the food, clothing, the shelter, the nature, the friends and everything around us as granted. But Lord, today we want to acknowledge that they are all your blessings. We want to thank you for the gift of life. We want to thank you for answering the prayers of those brothers and sisters who has asked us to pray. We want to thank you for your strength to them. We want to thank you for your providence to them. We want to thank you for your protection to them. We want to thank you for your comfort to them. We want to thank you for the presence of the Holy Spirit with those brothers and sisters. Lord, we are saints. We do not have any credentials by which we can stand before your throne of grace. But it is because of our Lord Jesus Christ today we are in front of you. We want to pray for all our brothers and sisters. We want to bring those people, our friends, our brothers, our sisters, our community people, our country people, who are now struggling because of the pandemic situation. We pray, O oh Father, that you come down in this situation and help us all. Many people have lost their employment. Many people have lost their source of income and they do not know how to meet the ends of it. 
We pray, O oh Father, that you help them. Those who have lost their employment, help them to find a new source of income. Those who have lost their business or any other means of income, pray that you help them so that they, their needs are taken care of. We want to pray for those families where there is where there is stressful situation. Pray that you intervene in those situations. Bring your peace and put the family together. We want to pray for those people who are in the front line and encountering this situation, O oh Lord, where their lives are also threatened. Pray that cover them with your shield so that they are protected. Many people, O oh Lord, in this world today are struggling in the hospitals. We pray that may you be with them. Please stand by the bedside and grant your healing touch to them, O oh Lord God. It's not only those who are affected by the COVID-19, but we also want to pray for all others who are sick and suffering and by and, and are struggling, maybe at home or maybe in their hospitals. We ask for your presence with all of them. Father, we also want to pray for those who are grieving, those who lost their dear ones. And these losses, Lord, nothing can replace. We pray that may your spirit comfort them. May your spirit strengthen them. May your spirit assure them that this is not just the end of everything. But we need to wait for that glorious day when we all will be united once again. We want to pray, O oh Father, for this whole world. Thank you, Lord, for the the medical provisions that you have made for us, the vaccines, the medicines, and all those things. Pray that may you work it out in such a way that it will reach to every people who are willing to accept them. Gracious Lord, Almighty Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that may your peace reign on this earth. We hear people are struggling because of the war and many other different kinds of unrest. Pray that may you intervene in those situations and bring your peace. We want to pray for those who are struggling because of certain natural calamities. People have become homeless. People do not have enough of their supplies. People do not have even drinking water at certain places. We pray, O oh Father, that may you come down here. Help those people, O oh Lord. Provide them all, all that they need. Help those people who are trying to reach to those people with helps. That they can reach to those places and support those helpless people. Gracious Lord, Almighty Father, we want to commit each and every one of us especially those who are the senior citizens. Under these circumstances, many are in trouble. And we pray that may your presence be real to them. Help them, O oh Lord, in whatever help they are in need. We want to pray for those people who are stranded at different places who needs to return to their own place, their homes, to their nearest and dearest home. Pray that you work out, O Lord, so that they can return to their homes, they can return to their own places and give thanks to you. We want to thank you for everything that we received from you. And we pray that as we step out into this world to do our things that we are expected to do, May you come with us. May you cover each and every one of us with your protective shield so that when we return home, we say our God is free. 
with your grace, may your blessings, may your mercies, and may your protection flow in the life of each and every one. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining me. We would love to pray for you, pray with you. Please feel free to send your prayer requests to the contact information given on the screen. I can assure you of total confidentiality. As usual, before I close this episode, let me leave a text for all of us. It comes from Matthew chapter 11 and verse 28. I'm sure many of us have memorized this text. Yet, let me have the privilege to read to all of us. Matthew chapter 11 and verse 28. It says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will keep you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. May the Lord bless you and be with you. Thank you.